come without a, oh, I think he's doing Mr. Johnson today.
1972, he was named Publisher of the Year by the major magazine publishers in the United States. In 1993, he published his biography. In the biography, he states, if it could happen to a black boy from Arkansas, it can happen to anyone. This book celebrated the 50th anniversary of his publishing company. In 1995, Mr. Johnson received the Communication Award for the 50th anniversary of Ebony, Ebony Magazine. In 1996, President Clinton awarded Mr. Johnson with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In 1997, he was inducted into the Junior Achievement National Business Hall of Fame. In 2001, he was inducted into the Arkansas Business Hall of Fame, and he also received the Horatio Alvar Award and the Wall Street Journal Dow Jones Entrepreneurial Excellence Award. He received honorary doctorate degrees from the University of Arkansas, Pine Bluff, Harvard University, University of Southern California, Carnegie Mellon University, and Eastern, Min and Eastern Michigan University. Johnson Publishing Company also has a book division and employs more than 2,600 people, with sales of over $388 million. In addition, Johnson Publishing Company owns Fashion Fair Cosmetics and Supreme Beauty Products. Johnson Publishing Company is also involved in television production and produces the Ebony Fashion Fair, which has donated over $47 million to charity. On August 8, 2005, at the age of 87, John H. Johnson died of congestive heart failure. Mr. Johnson's wife, Eunice, and his daughter, Linda, continued to retain Johnson Publishing Company until his wife's death. On January 31, 2012, John H. Johnson was the 35th honoree in the Black Heritage Step Series. Past honorees include Madam C.J. Walker, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Thurgood Marshall, Paul Robeson, Jackie Robinson, Marion Anderson, Mike St. Hughes, and Barbara Johnson. Johnson Publishing Company is still a successful business today, and it is ran by Mr. Johnson's daughter, Linda Johnson Rice. Thank you. Thank you, Karen, for all that information that you know about Mr. Johnson. And this week, week last week, 